Yo, what up YouTube, Rotocut Gaming here bringing you another cryptocurrency related video. And this time I'm going a little bit in, in depth on the overclock settings that I'm using on Simple Mining OS with a 3060 Ti. Um, there, there was a new update with NB Miner 39.6. I made a video about, hey, you know, there's some improvement, but I didn't really go into details on the overclock settings that I'm using. There's a lot of questions regarding Samsung memory, video cards, and uh, Hynix memory. And I think I can uh, answer a few of those questions. I'm using a rig that has six video cards. One of them is a Zotac with Hynix, and five of them are EVGA with Samsung. So I'll show you the details and what I'm working with with simple mining. It might be very similar to Hive OS, um, and you can look at my settings, look what I'm wor uh, working with, and, and see if it works for you and, or it's relatable to you. Again, 3060 Ti, Hynix memory overclock settings, and Samsung overclock settings. So here we go. All right, so if we look at the screen right now, as you can see, uh, the first one that I have is the Zotac. Um, it's, it, this one has a Hynix memory. You can't really tell in Hive uh, Simple Mining OS. I think Hive OS does give you that ability to see what, which, which memory you have, which manufacturer you have, but not this one. I was able to figure out because I put it in Windows and I went through HW Info 64 and, and I did all that. There's different avenues. Uh, and also the way that it acts all er erratically, I kind of figured that it was Hynix as well. So this one, uh, it, it runs with the new uh, update. Uh, slightly lower than the 45 megahertz advertised on, on NB Miner's uh, changelog. So, you know, it's right here. And it also, it needs a little bit more power than the other one. So I'm, I'm, on my particular case, I'm running it at 134 watts, while the other ones are like 130, as you can see on the screen. So let me go over real quick on the overclock settings for this particular set of cards. All right, so I'm running Core uh, Zero. Uh, on, on Ethereum, I'm mining Ethereum with these cards, with these LHR cards. On the memory, on the megahertz, notice that I have 1800, 2400, right? So if you're new to mining in these Linux-based systems, you might be wondering, why does he have that? Well, if, you, if I just leave the 1800, it's gonna apply that memory overclock across all six but because i don't necessarily want to do that i want to be uh, i want to be able to say hey hynix memory card which is you know gpu slot zero i want that to mine at 1800 which in windows is actually 900 megahertz so in linux is twice and windows is half so 900 uh for that zotac one and then 2400 for the second starting my my second gpu is an evga and gpa uh, my gpus two three four five and six are all evga so how come i don't do all of them 2400 2400 2400 well there's a simple reason because um, in this program if you just type uh, 2400 here and leave it alone it's just gonna say okay two to you know to the last one from now gpu2 to the last one apply this setting which is 1200 that's what mb miners change log i um recommends so 1200 in windows 2400 in linux and again um same same goes with the power limit 136 watts for that zotac one and 130 uh 30 31 31 130 or 131 for uh the evga ones which is some 68 percent or something to that extent um, minimum fan speed 100 on the zotac one it runs a, runs a little hotter and then 80 percent on the other ones so that's what that's what i did and um it's working out so far obviously this one is on the brink of 45 uh, mega mega hash and these are you know well above it all in all uh, i'm happy uh, with, with with this update it's working out great so i just wanted to make a quick video for for some of y'all out there that were that are wondering hi nick samsung you know what's going on what are your overclock settings this is what i'm currently doing it works out for me and um, hopefully it'll work work out for you in windows or hive os or whatever but every card is different you know um there's there's a lottery when it comes to the like, chips and when, when when they get down to manufacturing it you don't you don't get what your neighbor's gonna get it's it's all you know luck so i don't know if i'm lucky i don't even know if i have the right proper settings but so far so good 
All right, appreciate it. Thanks for checking out my video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.